Commander. Just got an interesting message from Master Nos Dural. What did he say? Just that he wants a meeting, right away, with you, and only you. Preferably in the most secure space we've got. I'm very busy, and I don't appreciate being put on the spot like this. Well, whatever's going on, that's obviously a big deal. All right. Get the operations room prepared. I'll wait for Nostral there. Will do, Commander. Hello again, my friend. Please forgive me for putting this all together on such short notice, but it was too important to wait. Glad to see things are going so well around here. I thought it would just be the two of us, Nostral. Wow. Uh, nice to see you too. We really should get on with the meeting. We don't have a second to waste. Agreed. I have other things to take care of, you know. Noted, but what we're about to discuss takes precedence over any other Task Force Nova responsibilities. This is Erin Lanier. Master Satil connected us. She had interesting news to share. Welcome to Odessen. Thank you. I wish I were visiting under better circumstances. Aaron lives on Dantooine. There's an abandoned Jedi enclave there with an untold number of ancient relics and artifacts. It would spell disaster if they fell into the wrong hands. Unfortunately for us, Darth Malgus just walked right into those ruins. Malgus? Are you sure? Nobody's seen him since the Meridian Complex. I'm sure. I sensed Malgus before he even set foot on our soil, and I saw him. I followed him right into the Enclave. Is Malgus still on Dantooine? I couldn't tell you. I didn't hang around there for long. Something felt very... different about him. <sighs> there was no way I could face him on my own. I'm not ashamed to admit I'm not the fighter I once was, but Malgus, it's like he's just as powerful as the last time I saw him. More powerful, even. Someone more capable needed to know what was happening, so I ran before he could figure out I was following him. Packed up my family and went straight to Master Satil. Dantooine is the last place I expected Malgus to show his face. We need to figure out why Malgus chose Dantooine, and for what? Master Nostaral, how do we handle this? General Darun is on standby. He's ready to deploy military reinforcements, if necessary. But he and I agree that we should keep this quiet. We don't want to cause a panic on Dantooine, or let the Empire get wind of what's happened. What are you suggesting? Search the Enclave and find out what Malgus was doing there. Arn has studied those ruins before. He can back you up. Were you listening to anything I just said? It'll take more than two Jedi to bring Malgus down. When these two faced Malgus on Corellia, they nearly defeated him for good. If Malgus is still in those ruins, they'll be ready for him. I don't know if Arn is ready for this. Don't worry. I'm ready. If you're determined to do this by yourself, at least let me get you to Dantooine and point you in the right direction once we've landed. I'll be waiting by the shuttle. I'm glad she's offered to help. She knows Dantooine, and Malgus, and she'll do whatever it takes to ensure her family's safety. But remember, Aaron Lanier was once a Jedi, but she is no longer part of the Order. Her only responsibility should be getting you there and back safely. I'll keep that in mind. We should get going. We wait too long, and I doubt there will be anything to find in the Enclave. We're almost to Dantooine. Shouldn't be much longer. You said that you could sense Malgus, even before he landed. How is that possible? The day he and I fought on Coruscant? I could feel his rage and disgust with every attack. It was like nothing I'd ever felt before. It was suffocating. You fought Darth Malgus? A long time ago. It's not something you forget. I'd know his presence anywhere. I know what you mean. And it's not something I ever wanted to feel again, but here we are. I'm sure Master Nostaral told you about my past. I can't say I'm happy to be involved in Jedi business again, but if that's what it takes to keep my family safe... I understand. Setting us down away from the ruins. Don't want to draw any unwanted attention.
what were you saying about unwanted attention? Unbelievable! How in blazes did the Empire find out about this? By doing something shameless, I'm sure. Stick to the plan. Empire or no, we need to get in there and look for Malgus's trail. I don't think walking through the front door is gonna work. I can show you a way in. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You still want to do this quietly. A lot of people salvage things from the Enclave ruins to get by. It's not a very well-kept secret, and the government frowns on it. The scavengers built hidden access tunnels. We find one, we get in. Hopefully without too much resistance. That's a good thing you're here. I appreciate the backup. Yeah. You're welcome. What's that thing? A crawl. Biggest one I've ever seen. What's wrong? When I followed Malgus down here, I walked right through these tunnels without any problems. Sure, I saw a few creatures here and there, but they left me alone. They didn't attack like this. Whatever Malgus has done in here, it sure seems like he's gotten everything riled up. Why would Malgus stir these things up while he's in the ruins? I'm not sure he meant to. The Force feels so... unnatural here. These halls have seen so much pain and suffering, it echoes through the Force. It wouldn't surprise me if Malgus did something to tip the balance. What happened here? Betrayal. Murder. The Sith were ruthless when they destroyed the Enclave. So many senseless deaths. She's right. And things weren't exactly ideal before the Sith came. The Jedi here could alter a person's memories if they thought someone was susceptible to dark side corruption. They could wipe minds altogether. Maybe worse. No one knows what these Jedi were fully capable of. Not even Master Nostaral. I can't believe they would do that. I don't think anyone's proud of it. All right, enough. We're wasting time. We're on the right track. Let's keep moving. Ugh, excuse me for a moment. There are insects I need to crush. If only you understood the error you've just made. I almost feel sorry for you. I've heard much worse from Sith more dangerous than you. If they let you walk away, how dangerous could they have been? Your meddling stops here, worm! If you know where these tunnels lead, tell us. <laughs> Lord Zillus? Oh, it's you. When Zillus said there were insects, this is not what I expected. Colonel Gola, Imperial Reclamation Service. As you're answering a hollow frequency that belongs to my team, I can only assume they're all dead. They got in my way, so I put them down. Except for one, I see. What will it take for you to return her to me, alive? If you tell me what you're doing here and everything you've learned since you arrived, she's free to go. I'm not entertaining this foolishness. You wasted enough of my time. Oh, and I advise turning back. You won't find what you're looking for. It's too late. Her wounds are bad. She won't make it. Not like she'd help us anyway. Then we'd better not leave any loose ends. You're angry, aren't you, Worm? You've come so far for nothing. Keep moving. We need to figure out which way to go. I don't think I made it this far when I was following Malgus. Then which way do we go? Should we split up? No. Just... just give me a minute.
here. Malgus went this way. How do you know? Because I feel his presence most strongly here. Does that mean he's nearby? Not necessarily. Remember what I said about how the terrible things that happened here left echoes in the Force? Those feelings of pain and trauma are almost like imprints. Anyone who comes through here now, even Malgus, continues to leave those imprints. And I can feel them. Why don't I sense them? Force empathy. I've experienced it for as long as I can remember. I've always been... almost overwhelmed by other people's feelings and emotions. Little things like time and distance don't do much to stop it either. Does Malgus know this? Could he be manipulating these imprints, knowing that you were our only lead? I don't know. I hadn't thought about it. Well, uh, all we can do now is follow this tunnel, or turn back. We go forward. But, let's be careful. Doesn't look like there's any other way forward. Look at this door. Whatever the Jedi kept in here, they didn't want anyone seeing it. Too bad for them, because judging from these lightsaber burns, someone got inside. Recently. Then let's see what's in here. Stop right there. Did... did you do this? Weren't these people on your side? That would be stupid. They were dead when I found this room. Such a shame. If only Lord Malgus could have found any semblance of concern for the Empire, he might have spared my people. You think Malgus did this? Don't tell me you're surprised. I knew Malgus was looking for something to break the ties that bound him to Empress Asina, but I never dreamed he would go this far. If you really believe that, you don't know Malgus like you think you do. I never claimed to know him well, but I know enough. Malgus is nothing like the mighty Sith I have served and admired. Noble heroes like those I've known seem to be a dying breed. I've seen many strange and terrible things in the Reclamation Service, but one thing is always consistent. Those who wield the Force will go to any lengths for power. The atrocities that happened centuries ago in these very halls are proof of that. Your kind will never be satisfied. And the rest of us will pay the price. That's not true! Hold on. Something's not right. Let's go. Before we find out what it is, forget about him. He's not who we came for. <laughs> I have faced things you couldn't fathom in your wildest nightmares. Nothing you threaten me with can scare me away from my duty. But if you wish to abandon your foolish efforts, I could be persuaded to give you a head start. Leave while you can. This is your only warning. I'm afraid that's not an option for me. Or for you. For the Empire! This... is... can't be the end. Enough talk. I've wanted to kill you since you interrupted me in the tunnels. No! What's wrong? Whatever it was I felt earlier, it's happening again if we don't... Commander! Your friends can't hear you. If you were truly in the presence of Darth Malgus, you would have been dead before you drew your shameful excuse for a lightsaber. Why are you doing this? Where is everyone? I am not doing anything. Everything you see is because of you, Aaron Lanier. I remember how the Jedi were awed by your ability to feel emotion through the Force. I never imagined you were powerful enough to glimpse an imprint left behind by someone's presence. Left behind? Why would you leave something we could use to track you down? Getting sloppy in your old age? 
Use whatever you like. I hope you succeed in finding me. It will be the last thing you ever accomplish. I've done something no other Sith could achieve. I've broken my chains. No one can stop me. Not the Republic. Not the Empire. Not you. Maybe I can't stop you, but you are not invincible. Perhaps not. But you won't be able to put your theory to the test. Do you really think you're the only one who saw me come here? There were many who did. I made sure of that. But you were the only one who did what I wanted. You brought the Alliance Commander to these ruins. A shame that your reward is to die with him. I would have much preferred to kill you in person. I did give my word. Lanier, what are you... No! Now! Or we all die! What are you... If everyone's ready, let's begin. I wasn't aware that others would be joining us. Since we're discussing business that could affect our ability to rebuild the Jedi, I thought it best to invite some of the Order's most important representatives. Tao is eager to hear about what happened on Dantooine. That I am. I'm sure it's quite a story. You're right. Try to keep an open mind when listening to it. Don't worry. Probably heard crazier stories from the old man. This is Master Sal Darren. She's been instrumental in tracking down former Jedi, and identifying potential additions to the Order. I look forward to working with you. Someone with your particular skills and assets could play a crucial role in many of my plans. I don't work with just anyone. I'll need to see what you can do before I get involved with any of your plans. Caution is understandable, but do try to remember we are on the same side. And this is Master Vinyor Tesh, one of our most diligent stewards of Jedi libraries and archives. Before we begin, I must speak plainly. I don't believe we should include anyone in this meeting who is no longer a part of the Jedi Order. You're kidding, right? Absolutely not. We're here to discuss matters that could change the fate of the Jedi forever. But you wouldn't even be having this meeting if Lanier hadn't helped us. We need allies, so with all due respect, Master Vinyar, turning away anyone who's willing to help us right now would be a big mistake. Fine. She can stay. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Arn. I completely agree. Remember. You are all here because of the part you play in restoring the Jedi, regardless of your rank or title. Now then, please tell us what happened in the Enclave on Dantooine. That soldier from the Reclamation Service, Colonel Gola, the one who tried to kill us. He said something about Malgus looking for a way to break his ties to Empress Sina. Whatever Malgus did down there, it worked. He's not bound to the Empire anymore. Don't forget the display case we found smashed to bits. I think Malgus might have taken something from the Enclave. And Gola escaped. So everything we know, I'm sure the Empire knows too. That is troubling. Any one of the relics that were hidden in that Enclave would be deadly enough in Darth Malgus's hands. And now you say he's untethered. 
Arn, you and I will comb any records the Jedi still possess about the Dantooine Enclave. We must do everything we can to identify what Malgus took. Master Vinyor, we will need your assistance. Consider it done. I can start searching files immediately. I'll also need everything we have about the Osis Library. Why Osis? This isn't the first time Malgus has stolen a relic. On Osis, after Malgus left me for dead in the library, I saw him flee with something. A tome? I couldn't be sure. Everything was in such chaos, and we hadn't finished cataloging the library even before the Empire attacked. I don't like important things being kept from me. If I'm going to be part of Task Force Nova, I expect to be treated as an equal. That has always been my intention. At the time, I didn't understand the gravity of what I saw. Sith stealing artifacts is a common occurrence. But now that a pattern is emerging... If Malgus is ransacking Jedi ruins, we should deploy forces to any place we suspect he might go. I'll speak with General Dayrune immediately. Thank you, Master Saldarin. I'll begin compiling our records in the Dantooine Enclave. I should have something ready as soon as possible, Master Nostaral. After all that, we're no closer to knowing where Malgus has gone. Don't worry. That will change soon. In the meantime... We get ready. And when Malgus decides to show himself again, we'll be waiting for him.